Now, Ricky will be home any minute, and I have a seal in the closet. Lucy, what are you up to? Well, I had a chance to get into show business, and I took it. I'm an assistant in Captain Blystone's trained seal act. I'll tell you all about it when you come home from the beach next week. We are back. I'm down at the corner delicatessen. We'll be home in five minutes. Oh, but you can't come home. Captain Blystone is sleeping in your bed. <laughs> Captain Blystone? What's a perfect stranger doing in our bed? Well, he isn't exactly perfect. He's got a broken leg. He slipped on a flounder. I threw the seal. Yeah, listen, I've got to hang up now. Now, just a minute. Just a minute, Lucy. You've got a seal in the closet, and Captain Blystone is in our bed. Where are Fred and I going to sleep? Don't bother me with your problems. I got troubles of my own. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to tell Fred? Don't tell him anything. Just come on up here and I'll think of something. Okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, baby. Mother's coming. <laughs> what do you got, a hollow flipper? <laughs> now, don't eat too fast. I'm tired of burping you. <laughs> I missed you terribly today, darling. Mm, the house was so lonesome without you, sweetheart. <laughs> You're the most wonderful husband in the whole world. Mm. Did you miss me today, Ricky? See? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Lucy. What have you done? Who, me? Yeah. The last time you kissed me like that, you wrecked the car. The uh, insurance company canceled all my insurance on everything, and you did my laundry in the wearing mixer. <laughs> what are you talking about? I give you a kiss every day. I know, but this is October. You just kissed me all the way through Lincoln's birthday. <laughs> That's the way it is with you hot-blooded Latins. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> You're too suspicious. Now, I haven't done a thing. <laughs> One of them must pitch for Cleveland. Well, I have a fan in there that circulates the fumes. See, yeah. we need an exterminator, dear. Yeah, but why are you fumigating the place? That's the landlord's job. Well, Fred and Ethel are away. I just thought I'd help. Oh, you're always helping, like when we went on our honeymoon. You thought we'd be lonesome, so you invited your mother to come along. Well, I was just trying to help. Who were you helping, your father? <laughs> you have no on me, Ricky. I only do things to please you like any normal American housewife. Normal. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is this? Uh, what are these Texas anchovies doing? <laughs> uh, that's my first dividend. I joined the Herring of the Month Club. <laughs> Oh, that's good thinking. On a bill night, we can get marinated together. <laughs> oh, you kidding. I gotta get some sleep. I got a very important audition tomorrow morning. An audition? Yes, I'm, I'm sort of auditioning for the Havana Symphony Orchestra. Oh, honey, how wonderful. Is it a big orchestra? 100 pieces. 99 bongos and a sweet potato. <laughs> oh, it's honey, that's so awesome. Let me help you. Oh, Fred was going to carry one of them, but he didn't want to throw me off balance. <laughs> well, honey, where is Fred? He tipped the cab driver ten cents by mistake, and he's trying to talk him out of it. <laughs> Fred, I'm in here. Yeah, well, it's the fresh air, you know, makes you feel like a new man. Well, you look like a new man. Took off a little weight, put on a little hair. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that's my Freddy. He's my poopsie whoopsie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, you're right. He has changed. <laughs> All right, break it up. Let's not overdo it. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. Oh, what time? Uh, uh, no, no, wait, don't go. Don't go. Stick around and I'll make some coffee. Yeah, make some coffee. I'll make some coffee. Let's stay and have a cup of coffee, honey. Huh? 
Now, why are you here? Don't you think you ought to give Rick, Ricky back his golf clubs and his tennis racket? After all, he was nice enough to loan them to you. Big deal. I couldn't play. He didn't leave me any balls. <laughs> Very gay. <laughs> You're just returning from a wet back luau? <laughs> Fumigating the closet, you know. Yeah, what is that? Don't worry thing? about a thing. <laughs> Say, how come you, you came back so soon? I thought you were going to spend another week at the beach. Well, we were, but the grunion stopped running, so we didn't have anything to eat. Oh, no, the grunion is not stopped running. I was just tired of finding a pelican for my breakfast every day. <laughs> you did what? I was just tired of finding a pelican for my breakfast every day. They didn't stop running. <laughs> You're trying to tell me something. <laughs> Come on, Ethel, let's get out of here before I lose my entire temper. And lose that accent, too. Hey. <laughs> uh, uh, Fred, we, we, uh, Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Oh, don't go. No. Uh, look, while we're all here, why don't we play charades? Yeah, charades? charades? Yeah. Lucy, yeah. I, I'm getting in the bed. Oh, well, you get in the bed and go try to guess what you are. <laughs> Get some sleep, honey. I've got an audition tomorrow, and you invite your friends in the middle of the night to play games. What do you think I am? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Ah, ah, the beast from Hollywood. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for me, too. <laughs> Come on, Ethel. Let's go upstairs. Oh, no, you can't go upstairs. Why not? Oh, why not? Oh, uh, uh Lucy? Uh, Lucy, what have you done now? Well, I was only trying to surprise him with a little anniversary present. <laughs> oh, yeah. an anniversary yeah, present. present? What is it? I had your apartment fumigated. Fumigated? Yeah, and it has to stay closed up till all the termites are gone. Well, that's my wife. <laughs> well, it could be worse. She could be my wife. <laughs> yeah. Do don't look now, but I think one of your termites has got a wooden leg. What is that? The building settling? Settling? This building is 40 years old. I'm going to go upstairs. Oh, no, now relax, Fred. There might be a man upstairs. Oh, don't be silly. If there was a man up there, I'd go up. <laughs> Lucy, let's get some sleep. Maybe we're keeping our guests from leaving. Well, they're staying here. Staying here? What's wrong with the hotel? Yeah, what's wrong with the hotel? Hotels cost money. Yeah, what's wrong with here? <laughs> I don't know how he does it, but he's got the first dollar he ever spent. <laughs> well, you can fight it out. I've got to get some sleep, Mama. Well, now, now, look, uh, Ethel and I are sleeping in there. This is the boys' room. Come on, Ethel's oh, here. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, wait a minute, Ethel. Wait a minute, honey. Huh? Don't you want to sleep here with your husband? Well, uh... No, she doesn't. <laughs> how do you like that? I marry Lucy and wind up with Desi. <laughs> <laughs> One chorus of Babalu and out you go. Mira que tú tienes cosas en Arizona sin vergüenza de eso que te coro. Careful, I have friends in the immigration department. <laughs> something about those sinuses. <laughs> the sound are like Ethel. <laughs> Say, uh, you got an extra pair of pajamas, Fort? Yeah, in the closet. Gracias. Gracias to you, too. <laughs> Are you asleep? No, I'm awake. Your eyes are closed. No, they're open. I just got the lids over. <laughs> My 
eyeballs from getting dusty. <laughs> what do you want from me? Well, Ethel said she couldn't fall asleep without a little bite. Well, if you think I'm gonna get up and bite her, you're crazy. <laughs>